see the enrolment service this morning. I was just saying to the girls, have a bit of fun. If we make a mistake, so what? Uh, we're here to praise God and we're here to have a bit of fun as well. I'm going to ask Michael just to begin the service with some announcements for, and get a bit of housekeeping out the way. It's great to see everybody here. Very, and a special welcome to all the, the, the friends and families of the girls and obviously especially the girls. You all look wonderful this morning. And it's nice, this is a nice time of year to have the enrollment service and have so many people from the local community in the church. And just want to extend that welcome for the next few Sundays up to Christmas. If you're, if you're ever minded, you're very welcome to come along. We have a, a carol service and different things going on from now to Christmas. So it'll be nice to see some of you back again. Next week's service is led by the Reverend Alan again to communion service. And tonight we have a service of healing at 7 p.m. in the church. We've welcomed the GB girls. I just have to ask parents and grandparents and family, if you're taking photographs, could you please just try to take photographs of your own girls, please? The loose offering today in the collection will go to the GB funds. Uh, the, I mentioned there's a lot of events and different things going on between now and services, between now and Christmas time. There's, I would ref, rather than go through them all now, I'll refer you to the December announcement sheet. Uh, it's in the, the hall, if anybody wants to look at it, they can see what's going on for the rest of the month. The Methodist newsletter for December is in the foyer, for those who have subscribed. And it's the end of the year again, so there's an envelope attached to it, so anybody wants to continue to subscribe for next year, you see uh, Rosemary Leslie, and it's great to see Leslie back with us this morning. So that, that envelope needs to be in by next week if you're going to contribute for next year's Methodist newsletter. The storehouse, our charity opinions. Uh, I'm, I'm standing on the other side of the platform here, if you wonder why. I have a stand on it, but I don't know what side it would be. <laughs> the, uh, the storehouse for the collection for December is biscuits. And the special collections we also have for December, if, you're, if you would like to, you can sponsor a turkey. Uh, and if you want to do that, you can see Dennis. And we're also looking for gravy granules because the storehouse are looking to make up a number of uh, hampers. And uh, they've asked us specifically for gravy granules as part of the, uh, the hamper. The Christmas toy appeal, we can see we've already started here this morning. I see the girls have a lot more. They'll be delivered on next Monday the 11th, so we've got, after today, we've got next Sunday's the last day if you want to uh, bring some toys in and we'll get them delivered on Monday the 11th for the, uh, the Christmas toy appeal. And last but not least, just a reminder to all the organisations who use the church halls and the church that when you're finished at night to uh, make sure all the, the doors are closed and the lights are off and the toilets or the, the taps are turned off, if you would, please. Thank you. question. Does anyone know who Glenda is? Does anyone in the house know who Glenda is? Any of the mums and dads? Any of the members of the church know who Glenda is? I just have to say, she is the quietest member of the girls' brigade that I have ever met in my life. And she's sitting here in this chair at the front. She hasn't said a meep. Hasn't said a meep or hasn't said boo from the moment I met her. I came to this church in July, and I think we've, we've got a wee bit weird. We, we start off our services maybe slightly different from a normal service. So I'm not going to do anything different this morning. This is serious business. If this didn't happen, there would be ruptions. Haribo are the bestest sweetie in Europe. Number one, I hate to tell you. And there could be fighting, there could be blood on the floor in here if we don't sort this out now. Elaine, can I ask you to go up and down the... And the mummies and daddies and the people in this church are saying, why are they getting sweets and I'm not? I'll come to you in a minute. In fact, I'll come to you now. This is, I would normally start off the service by saying, are there any birthdays in the house? Does anyone have a birthday today or have a birthday during the week? And then I have a wee look, and I see people looking at their feet, and go, oh, good grief, he's going to come to me. And then your best friend, your bestest, uh, your bestie, points at you, it's his birthday, or it's her birthday. So, touts. 
Anyone? I'm gonna I'm gonna let you volunteer first. Any birthdays? Oh, here we here we go. And you're saying to yourself, she's got the sweets. Where are you gonna get your sweets from? Somebody down the back here. Could I just say I see these ladies sitting around you? So. Oh, you went for a Fredo frog? You're getting paid. This is your payment for today. Thank you. Anyone over this side of the house? Any birthdays? My wee people get sorted. Oh. It could be one o'clock before you get out of here today. Oh, good choice. This wee man here. Good choice. <laughs> How you met? He's waving at you. Oh, you're hiding in the corner. Oh, wait, that's a good choice. All right, met. choice. Anyone over here? Any birthdays? This wee man's getting in the middle. What about this wee man here? Oh, good choice. Is that, so, is that us sorted, Elaine? Yes, I think so. We're good to go. Right. Thank you. That's the serious business sorted. I got an email last night saying the girls were out flying their kite yesterday. And I says, where were you? And they were away bowling. And then they went to Mickey D's afterwards and you didn't tell me. We were down here on Tuesday night and the girls put up, they decorated the Christmas tree and we got hot chocolate and marshmallows, just in case you want to help out next year. <laughs> and Tuesday night, you remember, for those who were here on Tuesday night, you remember Tuesday night? Well, a wee bit of good news. The youngest member, future member of the Girls' Brigade here in Glenburn was born on Tuesday evening. Her name is Sarah Amelia Lucas and she was... She weighed nine pounds, 12 ounces. What about that? <laughs> so, Elaine, do the girls want to do the tree? This Christmas tree appeal, the, the toy appeal, happens every year. And the, the toys go to Belfast Central Mission. And it's for children and young people that are less fortunate than ourselves. See if there's any action men in there. They're going up the hill, I'm just saying. I just want to start off the service for real. I want to read out a wee passage of scripture. It's one verse, and this is about John the Baptist. And he was in the desert, he was in the wilderness, he was baptizing people, and he was there for a couple of days. And it says in verse 29, John chapter 1, it says, The next day, John saw Jesus coming towards him. And he said, Look, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. I want you to hold on to that wee thought. 
as we go through this service of enrolment with the girls. Now I'm going to ask the girls to come up, we're going to sing, and just in case you come into this church cold, there's actions to this song, so after we sing, we're going to sing this song through twice, and you'll be taking your coat off, we're going to be roasting in about three or four minutes. So girls, if you'd like to come up. Oh, do you forget? I'm going to ask Elaine to come up. This is our part of the service. Today is the first Sunday in Advent. Uh, so I'm going to ask, we have an Advent wreath here to the, to the left-hand side of the church. I'm going to ask Elaine to come up, and she's going to light the candle for us. There should be something coming up on the screen. If I say the words in the black, if you would just respond in the words in the red lighting. And these are the words of Jesus. He said, keep awake. For you do not know on what day the Lord is coming. And you guys say, Amen. Come soon, Lord Jesus. Keep awake, for you do not know on what day your Lord is coming. Jesus is the light of the world. Now, this is the part of the service. This is wee bums for me. I can go and sit down now because the girls are just taking over this service from here on. And I'm, I'm going to spoil it by doing a wee talky bit. So maybe one o'clock or two o'clock, you could be out today. But girls, over to you. Sometimes we sometimes don't put you first. 
we think about what we want to do. Thank you for the stars that shine. Thank you for these winds of mine. Thank you for the moon and sun. Thank you, God, for what you've done. Amen. Right. I'm throwing my hands up. I'm the first one to make a mistake here today. After Elaine lit the candle, we're supposed to sing a wee chorus. And we're going to do this every week. Next week we sing two verses of this wee chorus that we're going to sing now. Uh, the All Age Worship Group are going to help us sing it, I hope. Because if I end up singing here by myself, I can empty the place. It's, but it's a, it's a well-known tune. Uh, so can we stand, please? Just this one verse. So this is the official bit where I invite Elaine and the leaders to come up. We do the enrolment. There's a look of shock in your face, Elaine, yes? I thought the wee wasn't for the same. Oh, well, after this, we'll do this first, and then we'll, the wee ones can come up and sing. I can read this, but I'm going to get my glasses on. For those who have been here for the first time, there's a man down the back and he lost his glasses there a while ago and he sets them down and he can't find them. And I, have to, I went up to him the other day and I says, Dennis, you're a scud. I lost my glasses the other day and I can't find them. So I've got this case, Just in, there's no way, you couldn't miss that there. Like. So better put them on to see what I'm going to say here. The great commission that was given by Jesus to the church and to the world was to go out and make disciples. And the girls' brigade endeavor to carry out this work among girls and young women, challenging them and encouraging them in their faith and to help them grow in Christ. We are delighted to have the members, and I'm going to give you your official title here today, the 107th Glenburn Methodist Company. They're with us in this church today for their annual enrollment service. And we have girls of all ages. We even have a quiet one up the front here, hasn't said a meep. We have leaders of all ages as well who make up this company. Volunteering as a GB officer is not just about keeping the company running. It's about service, obedience, putting faith into action and growing as a Christian. The leaders that will be standing before us today are using their gifts, their talents to try and share God's love among our young people here today. 
We encourage them to seek, serve, and follow Christ themselves. So I'm going to look at Elaine here. Elaine, as captain of this company, we know that you will devote many hours to this ministry, with all its rewards and challenges. As a church, we affirm you in this work and appreciate all that you do for the young people gathered here in leading your team of officers and helpers. Realising the responsibility of the duties involved as a captain, and this is getting all serious here, do you promise, by word and example, to serve God in the Girls' Brigade for the extension of his kingdom and for the promotion of the Girls' Brigade aim? With God's help, I do. I now enrol you as captain of this company, and on behalf of this church, promise to support you practically with our prayers so that the aims of the Girls' Brigade may be achieved to the glory of God. Well done. Now, could I invite the officers to come up? Your support and help to the captain are crucial as you work together as a team. You have the great privilege and the responsibility of presenting the truths and promises of Jesus to the girls. The task is challenging, but God will help you to lead the girls to seek, serve, and follow Christ. Alex and Jessica, do you promise by word and example to serve God in the girls' brigade in the extension of his kingdom for the promotion of the girls' brigade? I now enrol you as officers in this company, and may God grant you grace to be faithful and fruitful as you serve, serve him in this company. Now, can I ask all the leaders? There's one leader beacon off here. I know this for a fact. She's beacon off, but she has a good excuse because she just had the youngest member of this company there on Tuesday night. So can I ask the, the leaders to, to come up the front, please? Oh, just that's okay. Just stand where you are. Alana, Alison, Angela, Anne, Lynn, Ruth, Samantha, and Susan, who's not here but has a good excuse. You have been given this position of responsibility. Do you promise to support your captain and officers and set a good example to the girls as you work with them in this company? Striving at all times to be faithful to Jesus and the aim of the Girls' Brigade. Thank you. Now, we practiced this on Tuesday night. Now, you're not to say we buns at the end of it, okay? So, girls, can I ask you to, to please stand? I'm going to ask you a question, and hopefully you're going to answer, I do. Okay? Girls, do you promise, with God's help, to be loyal to your company, to be honest, kind, and helpful to each other? I do. I now enroll you as members of the Girls' Brigade. We hope that you have fun at the Girls' Brigade this year. And pray that God will help you in everything that you do. The captain, officers and helpers of our GB company have all been appointed by the church. And as a congregation, we have the responsibility to support them and the girls as they work together with the support of our prayers, encouragement and practical help. Could I ask the congregation if you could agree with that statement that we would help uh, the leaders to do what they do in this company. Can I just ask you to stand to, sh to show your commitment? And thank you. Please be seated. Elaine has asked me to express special thanks to the members of this congregation who have helped her during the year. 
and also to their president, uh, Roberta Miller who's, Miller, who's sitting down the back. Special thanks to Julia and Olivia, who are from Grosvenor Grammar School. They're working towards the Duke of Edinburgh, and they are helping out with the company this year. And a big thank you to the parents, the grandparents, for being here this morning. Now, that's us done. And I'm going to ask uh, Elaine, the girls are going to come up and sing.
you feel me, so send me. You know you love me, feel me, send me. No, you love me, feel me, send me. No, you love me, feel me, send me. We're going to sing a, a lovely Christmas carol called Away in a Manger. work of the Lord will now be received.
And now the girls are come up with our scripture reading this morning. John's Gospel, chapter 1, verses 29 to 34. The Lamb of God. The next day, John saw Jesus coming to him and said, There is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. This is the one I was talking about when I saw, when I said, A man is coming after me, but he is greater than I am because he existed before I was born. I did not know who he would be, but uh, but I came baptizing with water in order to make him known to the people of Israel. And John gave this testimony. I saw the Spirit come down like a dove from heaven and stay on him. I still did not know that he is the one but God who sent me to baptize with water. He said to me, you will see the Spirit come down and stay on a man. He is the one who baptizes with the Holy Spirit. I have seen it, said John, and I tell you that he is the Son of God. I set up the back of the church on Tuesday night room for a wee, wee bit of a treat uh, with the bells.
great so far. I'm going to do my wee talkie bit here. I'm just hoping to, I need some slides to come up on the screen. I have called this wee talkie bit, do you see what I see? And girls, I want to ask you a question. Can you imagine what the world or what life would be like without mobile phones? Or can you imagine life before the internet? Or even life before newspapers? How did people know that the Girls' Brigade were having their enrolment service years and years ago? So this is what would have happened. There was a guy called the town crier, and he would have stood somewhere in this estate shouting, Hear ye, hear ye, the Girls' Brigade are having their enrolment service Sunday the 3rd of December. Get down there quick. Place is going to be packed. You might even get a packet of Haribo. So he'd be shouting that about all over the place, going around ringing a bell, telling everyone in this estate, Glen Shara, the Girls' Brigade are having their enrolment service here today. In the Bible, there's a wee story in the book of Isaiah. The prophet Isaiah said there's someone who's a messenger is going to come sharing a story about the Messiah, about Jesus, the Son of God, being born. And his name is John the Baptist. That's the wee passage of scripture that we heard being read. John the Baptist was a witness as a, he came to prepare the way. But he was a bit of a, I have to, have to say this out loud, he was a bit of a weirdo in our words. He wore clothes made out of camel's hair. He wore a leather belt and he went, what's, what's weird about that? Well, this next wee bit's weird. See his right hand? Do you know what that is? It's a locust. It's like a, like a grasshopper. And that's what that guy had. Locusts and wild honey. That's not a McDonald's he's eating or a Happy Meal. That is wild honey. And that's, and his hair was a wee bit of a, well, you think he was having a wee bit of a bad hair day as well. But his message to the people out in the desert, repent. Repent and be, get your sins dealt with by God. And he was telling the people that message, repent, repent, and then he was baptizing them. And then Jesus came along, that's him in the right and the blue. And he went from, changed his message, he went, look, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. So, I'm getting back to my wee message. Do you see what I see here this morning? And I want to test your eyes just to make sure they're working. So I want you to, this next slide, what do you see? A rabbit. A rabbit? Hold on, hold on. Big people, do you see a rabbit? You all see a, you all see a rabbit here? Okay. Right. We're cooking in gas so far. What's that? A duck. Well, agree a duck? Okay. What's that? The reason why I put that crocodile up there was you don't know if he's smiling at you or he's about to eat you. That's, I'm just warning you, stay away from crocodiles. I just threw that in there. So I'm going to test your eyes again and maybe a wee bit of your, your, your mind. What do you see? A duck. a duck. Who sees a duck? Any big people see a duck? You're afraid to put your hands up? And you're going, I see a duck, I see a duck, I see a duck. Does anyone see a rabbit? Yes. Hands up if you see a duck. Hands up if you're saying, what in the name of goodness is he talking about? <laughs> okay, the rabbit is looking out that way. There's his wee nose, his eye, and that's his two ears sticking out the back. Okay. Now, the duck, his beak is looking that way. You've got his eye, and that's the back of his head. So hands up, who sees a duck? Hands up, who sees a rabbit? Well, you're absolutely right. So I'm going to show this next slide. What do you see? A duck? You guys see a duck? You guys see a duck? Anyone see a rabbit? What are they smoking in Glenburn Methodist Church, you're saying? If you see a duck, you're absolutely right. His beak, he's looking over that way, and that's his eye. And if you see a rabbit, 
He's looking out that way and his ears are behind him. You're absolutely right. I'm going back to my question. Do you guys see what I see at Christmas time? What do you see there? Anyone see Christmas trees, Santa Claus, turkey dinners? I've had three and a half turkey dinners so far. And you're saying to yourself, how do you get half a turkey dinner? Binkies, I hope you're listening. They do a lovely turkey and ham club sandwich. That's my half a turkey dinner. Anyone see carols singing? We see presents underneath the tree. That's the only picture I could get of the, the red guy and his reindeer and his sleigh. But does anyone see what I see in the bottom right hand corner? Yes, thank you. Does anyone see the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world? Because that's really what Christmas is all about. Yes, Christmas trees fine, and yes, turkey dinners are fine, and yes, us men, we get a pair of socks, and Lynx Africa, that's about the best we can do. It. But really, Christmas is about the birth of Jesus' Son, God's Son, Jesus, who takes away the sin of the world. What do you see? <laughs> Hands up if you see a rabbit. Hands up if you see a duck. You're absolutely right. But just I want you to leave here today at Christmas time. Do you see what I see at Christmas time? And you'd be saying, it was a rabbit? No, it was a duck. It was a rabbit. It was a duck. But I see Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. Now, it wasn't that bad. Now, I forget what's going to happen next to the end. I'll have to look at my wee notes. Yes, the girls are going to do a mime. Promise. 
Dear Lord, we pray this morning for those who need your help. We pray, we pray especially for those who are sick, whether in hospital or at home. Please help the doctors and nurses who look after them and the family members who support them. Lord, we pray for those who are living in areas of conflict, and especially in Israel, Gaza, and the Ukraine. We pray for their safety and that they will live in favor of fear. Lord, we pray for those who are housebound due to age, illness or disability. Please give them comfort and also give them strength to those who care for them. Thank you for the people who work to protect us. Please give, bless our emergency services and all those who in our health services. We pray for those who may be sad and lonely this Christmas. Help us to remember them and help us to be good neighbours. We thank you for the opportunity we have to worship you in this church. And we think about the areas of the world where the Christian church is persecuted. Lord, surround them with your love and protect them so that they can worship you in safety. Lord, we pray. Lord, we pray for our own country. Compared to many parts of the world, we know that most people living here are well off, but even in Northern Ireland, we know that many people are are hungry, homeless, or jobless, and we pray that they may experience true Christian love. Thank you for our girls' brigade, and bless the leaders and girls. Thank you for our friendships that we make in GB, and we thank you for the fun and fellowships that so many GB girls have received both in this country and around the world. And finally, we bring the needs 
of this congregation to you, we may not know the needs of the person beside us and the person behind us, but God knows, and he gave us the promise, ask and you will receive. Lord, bless all the GB girls and their families. Thank you for hearing all of our prayers this morning. Amen. Blessed assurance. I mean, would you please stand? Can we share the grace with each other? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Would you remain standing for the National Anthem? <laughs> 